Studying charting and technical analysis and fundamentals is just the technical side of learning how to trade. <laughs> There's this psychology. The general theory of technical analysis is that human beings, when they make financial decisions with their emotions, they often make bad decisions and your goal is to be totally logical and mindset of a sniper. One thing, one of many things that often screws up my trades would be that I would make a plan. I'd make a plan for a trade. Um, and then a day goes by and the trade that I'm looking at is, oh, well, it's gone up 2%, 3% or something like that. Uh, mm, like I bought in at a good time. I was hoping it would go another 20% and then I'd look at something else and I'll go, okay, I'll sell that. I made a 2% gain, then I'll buy something else. And then as I'm waiting for the new thing that I bought to go up 20%, the thing that I just sold goes up another 20%. And the terrible mistake would be to sell stock or stock number two and then buy back into the thing that I just sold because now I'm buying in at a bad time even though I was initially right earlier on that day or the day before. So what I'm trying to say is it's better to come up with a plan and accept that maybe it won't work out as well or it won't go up as fast as well. Just like follow through, complete it. Exit when the signals are saying to exit that if it's oversold or for me, if it goes below the last three hour candle, whatever, this is, that's, just, that's just my plan. Make up a plan and stick to it and accept the loss. And just next time, make a better plan. For me, changing my plan most of the time screws up my trading. There has been times where I abandoned a plan because the price has dropped a certain level or indicates that it's going to go down. That's not really, that's kind of like changing, a, that's kind of changing my weekly plan, but still sticking with my exit strategy. Yeah, I guess the, the emotion that's interfering with that reasoning would of course be greed. It's kind of like, oh, I haven't got my 20% yet. Oh, I wanted to make 20% today. Oh, I'm going to make 20% on this thing over here. Or 10%, whatever, whatever the target is. 10% is good, 20% is excellent. Um, and then the, what results most of the time is that I don't get the 20% gain that I originally planned the day before. And then quite often I will either make a loss or not as much. So basically what I'm trying to say is make a plan, make a strategy and stick, stick to it. And if it comes to a loss, learn why that strategy didn't work and build a better. Keep, keep working on building a better strategy until you can learn how to make money every month or profit every month. In my case, obviously making Bitcoin every month. Uh, <laughs> little impromptu video as I'm making my curry. Live free or die trying. And if you want to learn more about trading, go to cheapestbitcoinprice.com where you can buy other dollars with the Bitcoin and get an extra $10 worth of Bitcoin free and I have books and videos and other stuff.